In Tahrir Square, the hopes of the 2011 revolution are looking as threadbare as the abandoned tents. It's possible former President Mubarak, ousted after 18 days of protests here, will be released soon on remand. The square isn't the cockpit of Egyptian democracy anymore. Now the army has the power. It says it's working for the people, and a lot of Egyptians, including secular liberal politicians, agree. The, the confrontation now uh, is between uh, Egyptians, the Egyptian institutions, uh, and uh, a terrorist group. Uh, I think uh, yani, the, the price, unfortunately, is some blood. Huda and her children are paying part of that price. Her husband, Mohammed Kamal, a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, was one of hundreds killed when the security forces broke up their occupation of a Cairo district last week. My son asked me, what will we do after Dad's death? I replied that we will keep on protesting and we will continue what he started because he was on the right track. Mohammed Badir, the spiritual head of the Muslim Brotherhood, is the latest of its leaders to be arrested on local TV. Like all the Brotherhood's leaders, years in jail before the revolution didn't change his views. The uprising against the old regime in 2011 was supposed to give Egypt a new start. But for many Egyptians, it's feeling now like the old days before the revolution. On the 28th of January 2011, clouds of tear gas rolled off the Castroneal Bridge as protesters battled their way into Tahrir Square. Among them was a man called Omar. We walked across the bridge again, but he didn't want his face shown because he feels the police state is back. Even his middle-class secular friends, he says, look suspicious if anyone criticizes what the security forces are doing, unlike when they took the bridge. We were angry that day. I wanted freedom, no military. I remember very well. And what have you got? <laughs> the exact opposite. No freedom and, and military. The Egyptian military and the politicians who support them say there's only one thing you really need to know about what's happening here. They are fighting a war against Islamist terror. They're hoping that will be enough to convince their Western allies. But on the other side of Egyptian politics, that's dismissed as a cover-up for a ruthless campaign to break the power of the Muslim Brotherhood. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Cairo.